Hi, I'm Henry from Short Oak Edit UK, and today we're going to look at the XL Drylock series of wetsuits. Uh, the Drylock is XL's top of the tree winter wetsuit um, for sort of cold water conditions. Comes in a 5.4 non hooded version, like so, or a 5.4 hooded version, which obviously has the hood built into the neck and zip closure. So we're going to look at the 5.4 here, and everything is the same on this one as is on the hooded version. Uh, so the dry look again is really that top, top entry level wetsuit. This is not for a beginner, this is a top guy who wants to be as warm as possible going all the way through the winter um, and is willing to pay for all the features and functionality you're going to get on one of these. So the dry look, let's start from the top. It has a few new features and stuff which they've been developing. Uh, a nice little magnetic closure here. So instead of a pop, it literally just slips, slips straight back down to the point um, and stops the zip coming undone. Uh, a waterproof zip closure. So this is a nylon zip which means that when the, the teeth are put together they create a much tighter bond than with a straight plastic or metal zip um, and again just stops that water getting in there every little helps uh, going through the dry lock only comes in a chest zip version um, so as you can see nice easy on chest zip you pull it open to get in and you climb in um, obviously a little bit difficult when you start but once you get used to it you're fine so nice little touches on the dry lock here which you don't obviously see on all suits as they have a nice bit of uh, sublimation printing going around the neck here which just means when the zip is fully closed up you're going to get the best non-slip um, option around there which is very nice uh, and obviously once you've got the suit on there's lots of drainage holes for any water that does come in they can droop out of all the little drainage holes through the suit key pocket as well on the chest there in case you've got an old style car key or something like that um, it really does make a big difference so that's the chest zip closure um, which runs again on both the hooded version and the non-hooded uh, as we run through the suit, the suit is made from a water repellent QDF uh, neoprene which means that you get a lot of stretch but at the same time you get a lot of water repellency so you can pour water on it and the water is just going to bead off. Um, obviously this is just a finish they put on the material which means that you're as sleek as possible as you're going through the water. Uh, the suit has a wind panel on the front here and on the back so if you're going to be kiting, windsurfing um, or just sitting in the water uh, when you're waiting for the waves to come through this material is going to really keep the wind off and keep you as warm as possible in those core areas, you know your core organs, it's very very warm. Um, as we run through the suit you have the neoprene going all the way through um, so that water repellent neoprene which does make a big difference especially with the weight issue and it just lets the water drip straight off um, and as you'll see it has a power seam as well so we're moving on to the seams now the suit uses a power seam construction, so that's the orange material um, that runs all the way through the outside of the suit, on the front, on the back, all the way down to the bottom of the legs. Uh, and that really is designed to be, or it's proven to be, the best way of sealing a suit. Uh, if you're putting this power seam on, it really is going to create the best seam without having to stitch or put holes in the neoprene. So that's on the outside of the suit. A few other nice little bits on the outside here, obviously you've got the clinch up at the neck entrance, you've got the nice built-in knee pads, and a few little bits that XL like to do that a few other companies don't is on the bottom here, on the uh, on the bottom of the legs, they put some sort of um, glue, I suppose is the best way to describe it. And this means when you actually put your boots on and flip this over the top, it creates probably the best seal we've seen on a pair of boots. So any water that's gonna flush up through there really is gonna be stopped. Um, it's just sort of like a, a rubbery material that really creates a good seal to your boots. And then also on the, uh, on the cuffs, you have the dry lock cuff. So again, they sort of crimp it all in to make the smallest possible area. So, you have the tightest possible fit round your gloves or, or on your hands um, and it just again stops any of that water getting in. Uh, so the dry lock series has some very clever things going on inside um, and we'll use this wash in here just to show you some of those. As you can see on the inside the suit is very very colourful. <laughs> this material is called uh, Cellient. Excel have been developing this for a while now, it's been in a few of their suits, it's been around a little while now. Um, and the whole idea is they have some sort of scientifically proven uh, technology in this material that allows infrared radiation to radiate back into the skin. The idea behind it is it keeps you warmer and lets your skin recover faster and your body recover faster from manoeuvres and stuff like that. Um, obviously looks great as well um, and it really differentiates an XL suit from another. So if you're going to ever have this hanging outside, you're going to be able to see it and obviously that technology which they bought into, which is the salient, um, which has come from running, should hopefully make a big difference to you when you're out on the water. So the salient runs all the way through the suit, um, on the front, on the inside here, and on the back. And you'll see this orange material. This is a bit more like a traditional um, sort of high pile, quick dry thermo lining. Um, you're gonna see this on a few more of the other sort of suits at this sort of price range. Uh, but the idea is here, it's in combining this salient material, so this infrared radiation technology, 
into this sort of quick dry material. Um, obviously this quick dry fluffy material is gonna be a lot better for performance in warmth than not having it. So you see it's gonna be on the front and on the back there um, and really is designed to keep the uh, keep you as warm as possible, but also allow the suit to dry very quickly. Um, you'll also look at the seams. You'll be able to see that the seams on these suits and see under the dry lock, you've got this salient line tape. So just to remind you on the outside, you have the power seam and then on the inside you have the uh, dry lock tape. Really what that's doing, it's creating the best possible seal between the front and the inside and the outside of the suit so that no water is gonna be able to permeate through that seal. Um, it's basically as good as you can get. There's nothing else on the market better than this sort of technology. A few other competitors are using something similar, but really for the ultimate in warmth and longevity of a suit, having the power seam on the outside, so the orange power seam on the outside with this tape material on the inside is really gonna be the longest lasting, warmest uh, stitching solution on any wetsuit. Uh, so yeah, really, I suppose the question is, what's the dry lock for and who is it for? I mean, the dry lock isn't the cheapest suit on the market. It's certainly one of the top end of the price point, but it really does drive that price. If you want to be warm this winter uh, and going forwards, buying a dry lock is going to keep you warm. I can guarantee you that, pretty much my guarantee on that. I have one of these for the coldest, coldest winter days, and honest to God, you, you're just never going to feel the cold. Um, the thickness really works well. They really do develop that winter technology, um, and it really does push it through. Obviously it's suitable for surfing, kite surfing, windsurfing, um, due to those single line materials. Um, and obviously it just every year they change the color a little bit, but the materials and the technology is the same. Uh, so yeah, that's the XL Dry Lock, available here now at Shore of Credit UK.